that's another matter. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, another view. With us, Dr. Mark Lamont Hill teaches education at Columbia University. Let's start with the south side of Chicago because this is a very vivid micro example that we both know about. It's one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the United States of America. Epidemic of murder there right now. Yet tens of millions of entitlement money has poured in over the decades to that area. And Barack Obama was in charge of even getting more money in there and making sure the money was used for the proper purposes. Can you, Dr. Hill, explain the failure in the south side of Chicago? Well, I, I don't concede that there's failure attached to the money. There's certainly issues there that we want to deal with. The, the, neighborhood, prime, is a f the neighborhood is a failure. Well, it's not a safe place for Americans to live, despite all of the entitlement spending. Well, it's failed. Well, I think when you begin to dump money into a place that's already starting behind square one, I think that money just gets you back to zero. I think but it hasn't. No, well, it's I gotten disagree. worse. I disagree. I mean, unless you're suggesting that had we not put, if we had not put money in, things would be exactly the same or better. I am suggesting it, that, that it would probably be the same if tens of millions of dollars weren't poured I, in there. I disagree. When you look at how money is allocated, for example, for schools, for, for food, for health care, uh, for taking care of the most vulnerable citizens, that's real stuff. That's real life stuff. And, that, and without the, those resources, people would die. People, there'd be more violence. There'd be more crime. There'd be more poverty. I do, however, suggest that it's not just about putting money in. Contrary to what people think, President Obama and most main, mainstream people on the left don't think you just throw money at problems. You also need proper management. You also need anti-corruption movement. But you're not getting the proper management management down there and he was part of the management scheme but well, I disagree, well, no, I, I disagree he wasn't part of the management scheme it's simply well, he, he, was, he was part of the management scheme in the sense that he was there working to make sure that the neighborhood got what it should get. Yeah, but he had no official capacity to manage funds. No, but he could cause a lot of trouble if he wanted to. Yeah, you know, in response to corruption. Know in response to corruption, Bill. Are. No, no, but that's my point. It's the there's corruption we need to deal with, and there's a proper right. allocation of resources. We agree on that, right? We, of course, we want a good life for the people on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. But we, this is the wrong way to go about it. A huge top-down bureaucracy isn't going to make lives for those people better. It has to come from the bottom up, all right? And it hasn't. Yeah. It has. I think it's both, Bill. Now, President Obama basically is saying, look, I want a just society. And I think he does. As I said, I, I, I'm not, I don't think he's a bad man. I think he does. But he doesn't understand that you can't micromanage individual lives from Washington. You can't. And the more you try, <laughs> the more money you spend on that, the more waste there is for all of us. And, and the more the country gets weakened by $16 trillion debt. But, but that's a huge leap to say that he's micromanaging individual he wants lives. To. He's not yelling at people's houses, hey, put that greasy sandwich down. or No, put he's that yelling, put the solar panels on there. But that's that's not, what he's yelling. That's not micromanaging. Of that's, course that's, it that's, is. That's, it's not, Bill. It's saying that we as a society have to do things collectively that we can't do individually. That's exactly what your quote said. Wait, so, so, so for, wait, wait, wait. In order to put, social, uh, to put panels, solar panels, on your house. That has to be done individually. All right. The president can suggest these things. And we can incentivize throws, and we can incentivize that type of growth. He throws billions of dollars into it. You're going to hear the segment after you, the Citizens for Government Waste, give you a stark example of the government <laughs> spending billions of dollars, all right, trying to convince people to put solar so, panels in their house, and it's a failure. Well, I, I will concede the fact that the particular solar panel project that we engaged in with Solyndra and everything else was a failure. But the bigger point here is that governments all the time have to incentivize corporations and people to make decisions that are in the public good. Tax credits are fine. All of this crazy spending is it? Sometimes it's necessary, Bill. Sometimes it's absolutely Sometimes necessary. Sometimes it's and here, necessary, and here's the, here, not now. And here's the Lincoln point, right? Lincoln's argument was that individually we can't get things done, but collectively we can do things. You use slavery as an example, right? But I would argue in, ending poverty is a collective project, not an individual project, because you oh, know what, Bill? I, I see. The, we see that as a hundred percent different. I, I, I'm Bill, a, if somebody's laying on the street without health care and without food, you end up paying for it anyway. I end up paying it for it matter. anyway. You enable people to stay in poverty by these tremendous entitlements. you got to incentivize how, how them to get out. And, and you can do both. It doesn't mean... <laughs> it you, hasn't worked. Because we haven't effectively tried both. For 50 years, we have. We I, spent 10, $12 trillion, we reported yesterday, Bill, since you, Lyndon Johnson. Where were you in the 90s? You were around for the Clinton administration, right? Yeah. You're kind of young, but I think you were here. There was, welfare, there was a Welfare Reform Act. There's been all yeah. sorts of initiatives. And that worked. It, it has not worked. Well, we... 
slid back. No, of course it has. It, it, it worked. It, it, it got more people in the employment. There was more employment in the Clinton administration. Who couldn't get, who couldn't have, who didn't have living wages, who had substandard uh, health care uh, options. It didn't work. It worked for the Republican goal of shrinking the state. It didn't work for healing poverty or, or protecting You're the vulnerable. You're supposed to be able to rise up, to work your way up in this country. You don't believe that's possible, and I do. I do believe it's I'll possible. Give you the last look, word. Look, look at somebody like you who comes from absolutely nothing, and you have a. You too. Uh, uh, hey, well, see, actually, that's not true. I came from a fairly middle class background, unlike you, Bill. Yeah, but I'm talking intellectually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All well right, played. Dr. Hill, well everybody. Played, sir. There you go. <laughs> Next on the right.